moving coil suspended type galvanometer galvanometer is a device used for measuring feeble current accurately it is also known as electric current detector Moving coil galvanometer works on the principle that when a current carrying coil is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a torque. This torque that is produced is proportional to the current passing through the galvanometer coil. Construction Shown here is the moving coil suspended type galvanometer. Click on the image to view the internal parts. A moving coil galvanometer consists of a coil PQRS. This coil is made by winding a long insulated copper wire on a frame of a soft iron core. The coil is suspended between the pole pieces of a magnet. The suspension is done with the help of a thin phosphor bronze strip. The upper end of the strip is connected to a movable torsion head. The lower end of the strip is connected to a hair spring. There are two terminals, T1 and T2, connected to the source of current. The concave mirror, M, used for measuring the deflection, is mounted above the coil. This mirror moves along with the coil. The deflection in the coil is determined by a lamp and scale arrangement. The entire arrangement is enclosed in a non-magnetic case with glass windows to avoid disturbance due to air. Three leveling screws at the base are used to level the apparatus. Working When a current I is passed through the rectangular coil PQRS, the coil rotates due to a torque. Torque is equal to NIAB sine theta. The magnetic field is always parallel to the coil and hence the angle between the normal to the plane of the coil and magnetic field is 90 degrees. For a radial field, torque is equal to NIAB. This torque deflects the coil, producing a twist in the suspension strip. A restoring torque equal to K theta is set up which tries to restore the position of the coil where K is the restoring torque per unit twist, also called torsional constant. When in equilibrium, restoring torque is equal to deflection torque. NIAB is equal to K theta. I is equal to K theta by NAB. I is equal to G theta. G is called the galvanometer constant and is equal to K by NAB. Therefore, we see that I is directly proportional to theta.